Hello and welcome back to another video. So today was the day that we were going to try and land at South Rock Lighthouse. And if you're familiar with my fishing videos, you'll know I spend a fair bit of my time fishing in and around the lighthouse. Although I'm quite far back from it, at least a kilometre away. And the best I've managed so far is to get some good drone footage off the lighthouse, but I've never got closer than a kilometre. And the reason for that is I'm in an inflatable boat with a hon wave. And the rocks round about the lighthouse are quite notorious, and over the years they've sunk numerous ships and caused numerous deaths. So taking a hon wave in close to that isn't the best idea. Um, but I was still really keen to land at the lighthouse, so a fair bit of planning had gone into today. Um, I picked myself up a Mac boat, which had a solid floor, and the idea was that this was hopefully going to be able to let me land at South Rocks, and also let me land at a number of the islands in Strangford Lock and do a bit of exploring. Now, while the Mac boat was ideal for landing on the rocks, it did have some problems, and certainly when I took it out at uh, Bally Halbert in my test video, I discovered these quite quickly. And the first was it wasn't as stable in the water as a hot wave. Um, the boat rid very high, even with the trim adjusted in the outboard, the nose stayed quite high up. And actually, to take the three-mile trip in this boat without any support didn't seem like a great idea. So we were waiting for the perfect day and today was it. The sea was calm and um, we were heading out of Clocky Bay. The water was completely flat and there wasn't a wave. The other thing that needed to be just right was the tides. Um, the last trip I was out and got some great drone footage. Um, the rocks were visible at the start of the trip. But as we were getting towards the end of the trip, I sent the drone back up again and the water was right up against the walls of the lighthouse. So this was a trip that needed to be made at low tide, and we were about an hour before low tide, and it was going to take us about 40 minutes to get to the lighthouse. So what we decided to do was we were going to take the two boats out. Um, I took the Honwave with a 9.8 horsepower Tohatsu, and my son Daniel took the Mack boat with a 2.5 horsepower Yamaha. And the plan was we were going to head out as close to the lighthouse as we could. We ended up a couple of hundred metres away, just when the water started to get shallow, and leave the home we've anchored. And then the two of us were going to make the trip to the lighthouse in the Mack boat. That's good. Yeah, keep going. Just I'll show you your waves will take you. Right. Okay, so put it into neutral. It's in neutral. Okay, that's fine. Do you want to hold on to my boat? Yeah. I'm going to put the anchor down. Okay. Now I hope you hold on to the boat while I come across. Okay, lovely. Get ready to jump out. Probably, yeah, yeah off, you, off you go. You jump out the front and grab the boat. Okay. Nine. 
what we're going to need to do is pull the boat up. Let me just fix the back of the engine. Okay, so I want to give you a little bit of the history of South Rock Lighthouse, or as it's also known, Kilwarlan Lighthouse. So the decision to build the lighthouse was made in 1783, and the reason for doing that was that between 1735 and 1768, there was a total of 64 vessels lost in the area, and this resulted in the deaths of 253 people. And one of the major figures involved both financially and in lobbying support for building the lighthouse was Lord Kilwarlan, and he was the second Marquis of Downshire. And it took them a further 10 years before construction began on the lighthouse, and that was in 1793. It was another four years before the lighthouse was completed, and it was Thomas Rogers who was um, supervising the building of the lighthouse. And the lighthouse was first lit on the 25th of March 1797, and was named Kilwarlan Light in honour of the Marquis. And in the video you'll see the Marquis's crest on the lighthouse, and it's actually pretty intact even today. So South Rock Lighthouse remained lit for a total of 80 years until the 1st of April 1877 when it was replaced by the South Rock Light Vessel which was then later replaced on the 25th of February 2009 by a Superboy. And although South Rock Lighthouse is no longer in use it's reported to be the oldest wave wash lighthouse structure in the world that remains standing. There's like steps and things here, so this must have been the the main way to come up to it. I think that's a good place for them to live, isn't it? They're probably not disturbed normally. Isn't it that built this out here, isn't it? Yeah. I think that's, that's obviously where the ladder used to be. Time to get the drone, I think, and we'll get a bit of aerial footage.
Okay, grab that handle. Got it. Good. Okay, that's the engine off. Okay, so let's see. I'll take you around to that back handle. Got it. Okay, so got to put that on. Yeah, I've got it, yeah. Take it easy. That's you. Okay. Good job. So, you sit there. What we can now do is we can just push that away. Jump out, Daniel. Should jump out. Okay, you grab the boat. Good boy. 